Okay, so there's two Urshifus. Dark Urshifu and Water Urshifu. What do they do? When when is it better to use one over the other? And why one is much more dominant than the other? And you know what? I'm gonna get my thoughts into if the other Urshifu has a shot. So first of all, let me give you some context. Water Urshifu is dominating this format. While Dark Urshifu it's it's a it's around. It, it exists. But, you know, it's not, like, meta-defining. It's not, like, top 10 in usage. I'm like, okay, I wanted to test it out because I wanted to see why it's bad. Or, like, why it's not top tier. I used to think, I wasn't even using the most popular set. And I was going ham. I top cut a limitless tournament with it. And because of that, I'm just going to make a video over the Urshifus. So, first of all, you might be wondering, what are the most common sets? Well, there's Focus Sash. They should run a Dark on this. Terra Dark. And then you do Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, Protect. And then you're usually 252, 252. And then you move on with Life. Then, there is either... Sometimes they're Terra Dark. Sometimes they're Terra Poison. But either way... You'll see it on choice band sets, close combat, sucker punch, and you usually see U turn. Sometimes in my. Does this version get its ice spinner? It does not. Okay. This version will probably run ice spinner if it got it, but it does not. And then here, you can make a, a cool spread, or you can go 252 adamant, and then just do, deal as much damage as possible. Then. There's another set that I personally ran. It was Assault Vest, Terra Dark. Basically, I want as much damage as possible while also being able to lift hits. Like, I think I took, like, 60% from a Dazzling Gleam. I didn't even have any bulk at the time because I forgot to EV my Pokemon in the Limitless Tournament. So that was fun. Well, at least my Urshifu. Right, then you can either make it make it bulky, not bulky, you can do whatever. Now, you might be wondering, but th these all look strong, and they are strong. However, their team archetypes are different and not standard, and I'll go over that later on. Now, Water Urshifu. There's the Terra Water, Mystic Water, on Torn Urshifu comps. You just go burr, basically. And another good note is that Urshifu also does decent in the D Knight Chim Pow matchup, which I'll get into later. But yeah, there's Mystic Water, Terra Water, there's Terra Water, Goggles. Sometimes there's Steel, but most of the time it's Water, it's just better. Sometimes they are Scarf, but the, the main one I want to go over is. The Focus Sash. Focus Sash, you should run Terra Grass. From my experience, sometimes it's Terra Water. But, I think Terra Grass is better to avoid Rocky Helmet Amoongus, which is all over the format. Because if you Searching Strikes that thing, boom, 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 you take half your health. And Urshifu is not happy about that. And then you go, oh no, my Sash is broken. So now let me go over the team archetypes for you. Okay, so for darker Shifu, they do not really want to be on like that water, grass, fire core. They they are more like not typing specific. Like psychic fairy dark is not a core. There's a different core called I think like dark fairy steel, which for darker Shifu it does very well on. Like, you could do, like, Urshifu and DD Female, Fluttermane, and Golden Go, and then add some extra to whatever you want. But this isn't standard. Most people are used to what, uh, Rapid Strike is on, uh, with, like, Amoongus and Arcanine. Because during this whole entire, uh, Scarlet, during all of Scarlet and Violet, the Fire, Grass, Water Core has been dominant. And even in, like, past games, it was still dominant. So many more players are comfortable with 
Water Urshifu and their partners over Dark Urshifu and their partners. And that's one of the reasons why Rapid Urshifu is better over Dark Urshifu subjectively. Now, you might be wondering, well, I want to build around one of these, but I don't know which one I want to build around. Or like, I, I need an Urshifu on my team, but I don't know which one would be better. I'll tell you exactly what. Okay. So, Dark Urshifu with Wicked Blow, this amazing into Trick Room, and especially Armor Rouge and Didi, you just go, hey, and Didi, you're dead now. Or that you force him to swap my games. But anyway, Urshifu does really well into Trick Room because you can just stop everything. You go, you're not going to get Trick Room up because all the Trick Room centers are either Flutter Main or uh, Psychic type. And they haven't really adapt adapted with Culberberry yet. And I don't know if they will. Is it Culberberry? I was right, Culberberry. Anyway. So, you have a plus Tricker matchup with Dark Urshifu. You also, uh, I feel like with Urshifu Dark, you do better into the Tailwind matchup. Although, I will say that Choice Scarf Water Urshifu does very well into it. And I'll go over it later. But, if you're not facing, like, a Chimpao D9 Torn Urshifu team in the Tailwind Mare, Urshifu Dark is so good because Sucker Punch is so useful. And if you outspeed... Whatever, like, if they're using Goldingo stuff, especially, like, on a Soul Best, you can let them make it rain, and they go, hey, you're gonna die now. Or sometimes you're faster, because what Goldingos are doing is instead of going, hey, I'm an outspeed retreat really lucky, is they're gonna go, hey, I'm gonna accept the fact that I can't outspeed retreat really lucky, I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing, if I face a retreat really lucky, I'm just not gonna go out on the field, or I'm gonna be smarter about it. So, that's another thing to take into mind. So, you will still outspeed most Goldingos if you both set up Tailwind. Now, Water Urshifu. I feel like this does better into balanced compositions. Because, like, Surging Strikes would do, like, I think, like, 50% or something in Singa Iron Hands. And you're more... You want Goggles on this much more than Dark Urshifu. Because on normal Urshifu, you can just go, hey... I'm gonna hit you hard with Wicked Blow, and I don't really care if you're Rocky Helmet or not. But you're more likely to run Goggles on this set because you care about Rocky Helmet and Moongus more, and you want to hit what you want to hit. Because whenever Urshifu hits, it deals a crap ton of damage. And so because of that, with Goggles, you, deal, you are overall much better into the balanced matchup. Now, if you're running... Urshifu, Rapid Strike, you're also better into the Chimpao D9, because, especially like Scarf, if you're smart about it, with Scarf, one, they can't hit you with Ice Spinner or Secret Sword. Two, you can EV to live the Terra Normal Choice Band Extreme Speed, plus a Sucker Punch from Adamant Chimpao. You might, now you might be wondering, that is crazy, how? First of all, you will resist the Sucker Punch, because you're a fighting type, and then you're base 100 HP and base 100 defense, which is crazy. I was EVing this thing for a fist death, and I'm like, oh my god, it can live so much. And then it still dies to everything on the special side, even if you're bulky. But yeah, I hope you enjoy my little rundown of this. I know this is probably a shorter video, but I was like... I like Dark Urshifu. Let's make a video around it. Plus, I didn't have any content in mind. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in another video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe. Okay, see you later. Peace.